Hello, Mr. Negron here. So, I'm uh, modding Warcraft 2 War. I'm moving over some text uh, from the uh, Warcraft 2 War pre as patched by Trug. So, my version of Warcraft 2 War. So, I'm using a tool named Total Commander in order to move over files. See, so you, you add like one folder on this side. On this side then another side, uh, on this side, you yeah, add uh, other folder then you compare the files, you can see that this file export vnvs which is connected to the traits in the game was last modified on 6th September September 6th uh, 2021 then the same file over on this uh, side was last modified on 1st May 2022 or May 1st 2022 this is the pre gildians patch and this is my version of Warcraft to the War and uh, because he has done changes, Trug has done changes to the file and to other files too I need to use Total Commander in order to compare the files first of all when I load up the same folder with the different content then uh, I go to my folder with my file and then I go to his folder with his file the folders are similar then we can see through this program uh, which date the files uh, have been changed and then I can right click on the files and then I click on archive and on this here gem för in hall uh, in Swedish that means in English um, <coughs> uh, like uh, compare files uh, and uh, then, then when I click there I end up with this window where I then click on uh, editing mode registering slag Swedish and then I click on this next difference or this uh, prior difference and then I can see um, the, the differences made in the file then I just move them over like this and I uh, have to do this for a while. I've done this for a bunch of files already. Because this is the only way to prevent, you know, changes from overwriting other changes. If I were to take his files and move them over to my files, I would overwrite my own changes and uh, the game wouldn't work. Because there might be changes in my files that are needed that would be overwritten by his. Um, but if I compare the files like this, then, then I will be able to add his changes without overwriting my changes. Yeah, I need to move them over manually like this. So I right click here and then I click on copy text. Then I clicked on uh, uh, paste here. So the program is in Swedish on my computer. I'm from Sweden, but uh, yeah, so this is what I need to do when, whenever someone else has changed files and I want to add his or her changes to my files. Could have just used his, uh, his version of the mod because he sent me the whole package, but I had already done some changes and fixing and such, and I didn't want to re remake that. Did it back in May. But if, if I end up with an un unstable version that won't work, then, then I will uh, change my mind and use his package instead, and then I will redo my changes on his version. Of course, I don't remember all the changes I did, but uh, I believe I have posted it somewhere and, and also uploaded pictures with the information. So um, I, I think it would be easy to do, it's just that I didn't want to redo my own changes again. So I decided to port his changes to my version instead. And if it will work fine and I'm done, then of course we'll upload this version. If, if it uh, refuses to start, then I will use his version instead and uh, move over my changes. I will not move, move them over, I will redo them, his version. So, so there are those two options, either I use his version and redo my work, my, my modding work, or I use uh, my version.
function and just pull over his changes. There is a risk that uh, something won't work. The game will become unstable, you know, one minor error somewhere and then it won't work. So. so that's why we will have to do this and then we will have to try out the mod and see if it works. And if it works, then, then we will let it play for a few hours. Make sure it's stable, and if it's stable, I will upload a new version to mod. And uh, and if it doesn't work for some reason, we'll instead use his version, which I have a backup of in a rare archive. And then we will redo my fixing and changes to that version. I did some fixing of, I of issues in the mod, the old version. Yeah, we will either use my version with his stuff moved over, or we will use his version with my stuff redone on it. Okay. So, Trug has done a lot of um, traits and chillery work for the mod. He's added a huge list of chilleries and uh, traits to the mod. <coughs> and then ABM has added uh, quite a big list of Unit info cards and Trug has also added new scripts. Well, I have fixed a few issues in the mod. Uh, for example, I have removed the uh, Agentus General, which crashed. I have fixed the issue with one of the Kraji Generals that also crashed. I have redone the garrisons of all the starting armies for the Blood Elves and the Scarlet Crusade. I have fixed the or the Martyron battle model, so it's the same as in on the map now. And I've also removed all the casters from the the, the garrison scripts. So when you see it's an important city and, and the garrisons will spawn uh, when you assault the city then then there won't be casters anymore uh, in, in that place. I also fixed I believe a mounted bandit unit that uh, couldn't attack in melee. It's fixed now. It can attack, but it doesn't look perfect because it doesn't have any weapon in melee. I believe it has a sword in uh, cavalry mode, in where it should have had a lance. And then it has like no weapon at all in melee, so in, in the future I might need to add a sword to, to melee as well. For now, I'm happy with that. We just need to move over Trug's stuff. All the files. He has changed. From all the files, he has changed to my files. And then, try the mod, and this, if it's stable, we will upload a new version. <coughs> so yeah, uh, this stuff can be quite time consuming. It's easy to do, you just copy and paste, but it takes forever because of the huge number of changes down to the text files. Some of the changes are used uh, to make it look better, I believe. Totally unnecessary. But uh, I, I usually move over everything to be safe. So you do not miss out on anything. Okay, the reason I'm recording now is just to see uh, to show <coughs> show off uh, some of the stuff that I have been doing previously. So this is what I do whenever someone else has changed a file and I have done other changes to the same file, then I can't just copy and paste. I need to compare the files using Total Commander and copy and paste each row inside of the file like this, otherwise the file would overwrite important text and the game wouldn't work fine if that happens. So we need to copy each new text uh, line of text yeah, manually. It takes time, but it's not hard to do, it just takes time. So, c 
coding Diva 2 to Lower Kingdoms and its mods is uh, not that hard. It's very time consuming, there are a lot of text files like this where you use different text editors like Notepad++ to move over text and such. It would be difficult for a new bit uh, to use Notepad if if you use if you modify certain files because uh, one comma at the wrong place and the game won't start. So, so it's not the easiest thing to do for a newbie, but when you uh, have done it once uh, successfully, then then it's not a difficult task anymore. It's just difficult in the beginning, then it's easy, but it's still time consuming. So it's mostly time that you need if you want to mod medieval 2 a lot of free time is needed if you want to do a overhaul mod of course uh, doing models and such uh, requires some skills uh, but as long as you keep to, to text files uh, the only thing that's needed is time and, and some basic knowledge. First time you, you, you do it, it might be difficult, but when you get the hang of it, you will never feel it's difficult again. But certainly, it's time consuming and boring. Right. Still worried that the game will start when I'm done because uh, there is one single error somewhere. There might be something causing the game to crash. A trait or a chiller somewhere won't work and it might cause a crash in the game. So even if the game starts up and we can play it, I'm not certain it will be stable. So we'll have to let it play for a while. We can place the AI, the factions under AI control have all the battles be, be out resolved then just let it play for like a bunch of hours until it's reached maybe turn 500, turn 1000 maybe we even had it running until turn 3000 sometimes and uh, yeah just to see that it's stable on the map traits and chilleries can usually cause trouble on the map Cost crashing and ending turns. It's important to, to play test before uploading and replacing the other file. Okay, so uh, yeah, I, I want a new release out as soon as possible. It all changes by A, a beam and Trug and my fixing a much better version and expect new scripts new unit info cards new traits and auxiliaries a huge amount of traits and auxiliaries and uh, you can expect fixed characters that did crash previously generals two generals that crashed the game have been fixed and the bandit cavalry will be able to fight in melee and also the Blood Elves and the Skull Crusade will have a more balanced roster at the start. They won't have elite units at the start of the campaign. They will, ha they will have basic and medium troops, very few elites. And the elites won't be casters. They will be like uh, pikemen, maybe one cavalry unit. So, so they, they are nerfed. It was no fun when they were OP at the start of the game. It's too easy to reconquer, well to last, something that should be a challenge. Also another change I want is that I want um, settlements to upgrade slower, but I'm not sure I will be able to do that. So I do not know exactly where I need to change stuff. Maybe it's the, the population number of the cities that need to be lowered. Because there were some bonuses in the EDB file, but I believe I've already removed them and did, did 
didn't help much. The villages and castles and cities, they still upgrade immediately. Okay, we're done with this file. Save the left one. Okay. Had to move this bit. Done with the export VNVS file. Okay. Twenty-two. Don't need to touch the strings files. You have another file: frozen throne, drug regions, and settlement names. Need to compare them to. Okay, so he changed that to. European pen. Don't need a string file. So drone. the files, editing mode, makes difference, copy the text, okay, change some names here, yeah, there's a risk I will miss out on a file maybe, needs to be changed and then the game won't start. We will be very careful before placing the current upload. Everything needs to work 100%. If it doesn't, we will have to use drugs file instead. And redo any work I, I did on the mod a few months back. Uh, I mean, any fixing I did fixed a bunch of uh, issues from the current release. It's annoying to have to redo it, but, uh, but I will do it if I have my choice. We only changed uh, the names outside of the, the actual code name, and that's fine. Then it should still work. We won't probably need to change the regions file too. Believe these changes must. Uh, Probably they will need to be done to the, the ordinary campaign too. So, yeah. I'm a modder of medieval to the lower kingdoms, but I've mostly done like 2D stuff and uh, movie stuff, music stuff, and coding stuff, especially coding. I do not do model stuff or map stuff. But I have done uh, strat models, so they are easy to convert from battle models. I, I, let, I taught myself that uh, in 2021. Uh, but I cannot do the battle models. They are more difficult to do. Strom guard. Remove that one. Don't need two and tries. Done with this file. Okay, let's say the left one. Okay. Okay. Okay, 
now it's the historic events file so we need to do we'll compare it to editing mode next difference he added some scripts so need to add some changes to the historic events okay that's just two simple changes let's say Now it's the names file. Need to change to. Have to compare them. Editing mode. Next difference. Okay. Then you just move over any change to the names. It's added a bunch of new family members and characters to the campaign. And a bunch of new items for the characters and healeries items they can carry portraits and everything okay. I believe this is um, character names that he has added for new characters we need to move over Hopefully they won't be too many. It's annoying to do too many text changes. That's why I don't really approve of uh, people that uh, you know uh, fix text files but do not add anything. But fix text files like you, for example changing the order of the text files to make things look more nice or you know. Um, uh, uh, yeah, changing the order of things so they are uh, ordered by uh, alphabet uh, uh, order, alphabetic order, for example A, B, C, D, etc. Uh, so everything uh, it, uh, that starts on an A is at top, etc. Et uh, it's annoying because then I need to do this just for it to look nice. I don't really care about the files looking good. I care only about gameplay and the uh, changes that matter to the game. I don't care if the, the code names are vanilla or if they are not vanilla or if, if the order of uh, names are wrong. I mean, to me that doesn't matter and it's annoying to have to move over every single name that has been changed if the only goal with the change is to make things look better. Uh, if it has an effect on the actual gameplay then it's a different matter. But I don't care about uh, how things look in the files. As long as, th as long as the game works. It's a waste of time to to, to change the text. Okay. Just for the <coughs> just for it to look better more ordered, structured. Okay. Okay. So we added quite a few new names, drug we can expect many more characters for many of the factions in the game. A while back I had already added everything from Krug from September 2021, where he added a bunch of new characters. Now he's added even more stuff that I had to add before uploading the mod, of course. 
That's what I'm doing now. Adding his final changes. It was a pretty big uh, package of changes, mostly relating to scripts and traits and ancillaries. Okay, yeah. So yeah, coding can be really time consuming, but not very difficult. If you do not have a lot of spare time or free time. Uh, you might not have the time to do this stuff. You know. it takes too long to do. And other files are more complicated than this. This is one of the easier uh, things. One of the easier files to, to work with. The mod. Just copy and paste just a matter of going through every file and every change and moving every single text change over to the other side. Not difficult, but very time consuming. Boring. Fuck, I click on copy, that wasn't intended. Okay, let's move them over. These changes I get these changes to the file without having to overwrite my own changes. So I combine his changes with mine and merge two files without overwriting anything. That's what why the Total Commander tool is very useful for modding medieval two to lower kingdoms. tool I always suggest using when you are uh, to, to merge two files, two files with the same name and do not want to overwrite changes and do not want to manually check every file in notepad pad or something. By doing it this way the tool will show you easily where a change has been made. Okay. It's all for nothing if it doesn't work. Okay. So, uh, <coughs> I'm a bit tired of coding Medieval 2. I did nothing but code Medieval 2 to Lord Kingdoms and its mods for years, uh, starting in 2016. And, uh, yeah been modifying different mods for Medieval 2 ever since it started in January 2016 with Wrath of the Norse and the Baltic then I did uh, I believe Lost Kingdom Wrath of the Norseman and uh, my personal mod for Warhammer beginning of the end times after that I believe Game of Thrones to War Enhanced in 2016 during fall during the fall and after that, I believe um, more the Wrath of the Norseman, Lost Kingdom, Wrath of the Norseman. And more Game of Thrones, and then Warcraft started in March 2017. Yeah, and I've modified other projects too since then. Lightbringer. Need that 
Fan. Elite. Red Egg. Elite Adventure. Over this one. And I think we're done, yeah. This file. Or uh, we'll save the left one. Alright, we're done with the names file. file compare with imperial re campaign regions and settlement names and archive compare files editing mode next difference and we will have to do the same as we did with the other file Okay, so this file is similar to the Frozen Throne file. We just have to paste over all the changes Trag made to the names okay, of the areas in the game, the settlement, the cities. When we're done with this file, we'll have to check the Desk Regions file, I believe. See if that has been changed too. And change Desk Strat and the Desk Scripts too. And then we're done. We'll have to try the game the mod. The game is Medieval 2 to Lower Kingdoms. I believe Medieval 2 to Lower is from 2006. Strategic game. At least for the computer. And uh, then there is the expansion Kingdoms released in 2007. I bought the game in 2008, I believe. And. Uh, then uh, there have been multiple mods released over the years for the game. Third Age Total War, based on Lord of the Rings, released for the first time in 2009. So it's pretty old by now. Okay, War of the War, released in April 2018. So it's not as old as Third Age, but it's still four years old by now. First person at least. But it's not a finished mod. And uh, here we have another update for it. Okay, we're done with this file. Let's save the left file. Okay, we're done with that file. Let's see here. I believe we are done here. Let's move out of this folder named text. Then we'll go to world, maps, base, and uh, world, maps, 
base regions file haven't been changed very good changed very good we'll go to campaign imperial campaign and campaign imperial campaign then we will uh, compare the files here 21 script file 6th april 2021 11th march 2022 so i don't know we will need to compare files um, the strat file should have been changed what may 2021 let's check it down need to double check Pair files, editing mode, next difference. None playable. If I change this, I made the Normans or the Nagafa can playable again. Might have to change that back, we'll see. 616 win. Years of the first year was oh, 600. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, so we already have a bunch of good command. I believe uh, mine is more up to date than theirs. There's no reason to change this file. Okay. I expected that one to have been changed later. Prepare. Script file then. I need to compare the script file to you. Doesn't seem like it has been changed. Editing mode, next change. Germag, the ball crusher. <laughs> I believe I've already replaced the mages. Don't care about that. I'm not gonna re add the casters to the garrisons. I like. Okay, when they do not have casters in the garrisons. Okay, so I guess my version was more up to date. Do not need to change anything in the Desker strat. Let's check the custom frozen room campaign. We have frozen throne drug and uh, frozen throne. Seems to be the same. Files are changed the same date too. My disk strat is more up to date than the years. Okay. We'll go to Procentron Trug. 18th April 2022. No, I believe his is not more recent. I believe you're done actually. Comparing the files. Okay, thank you for watching. This was just a preview of me comparing some files between the Pregilnes patch of Trug for Warcraft of the War and my latest changes from for Warcraft of the War. Okay, see you soon. Bye.